boot prints. Large. Man's most likely. Hmm. Not only women came looking for the cursed prints. Ah, uh, a woman's prints alongside. Single set. She came alone. Oh, no, you don't. Hear me. Don't you dare. Please, don't do this to me. Shani? Geralt? What are you doing here? I'm trying to save his life. Help me! Shani, calm down. He's dead. I'm sure something can be done. Let it go. Damn it! All for nothing. You did all you could. Thanks, Geralt. It's, uh... Good to see you. You too. Lost track of you after I left Vizima. Where'd you go? What have you been doing? Um, long story short... I've been treating the sick and wounded, as always, mainly at my clinic in Oxenfurt. But in Redania, I'm called on to help the army at times as well. I'll want to hear the long story long, too. Sure. But uh, once we're out of these sewers... Redanian army forced you to come here, too? Were you just down here for a pleasant stroll? Got our orders this morning. I came down here with a whole unit, but something attacked us. Why'd they send you down here? Only if it's not confidential, of course. I need a venom sample. From the beast that prowls these sewers. It doesn't just kill those who come down here, you know. The water in so many wells is contaminated. Folk are getting ill. Redanian soldiers among them. Plan to kill the beast. Bring you a sample of its venom after I do. Nice of you to offer. But I'd rather go with you, collect the sample myself. Creature's dangerous. You saw what it can do. I'm a big girl, Geralt. I can take care of myself. And you know I'll get my way, so don't try and talk me out of anything. <sighs> Fine. Your choice. So show me where the monster attacked you. This way. Grating's badly bent. Something large struck it, with a lot of momentum. I shut it as I fled. The monster must have slammed into it. Glad it held up. Though now we need to find a way around it. Is it worth searching outside? Actually, just hoping the monster's blow weakened one of the walls.
Careful, monster might still be here. wounds made by a blade. No monster did this. Soldiers from your escort? Yes. That's them. Vern. Miklas. Ugh. Poor boys. Beast doesn't play around, apparently. They saved my life. What exactly happened? We came in here and Miklas started looking for tracks. Then Drowners attacked. The men made quick work of them. But Franz was injured. His leg. He and I stayed behind. I tried to bandage him up while Nalls stood watch. Then that beast appeared. Nalls pushed me towards the exit and ran at the monster. I turned around and saw him lying there, covered in a sticky substance. I ran back to get him, then dragged him to where you found us. Where was the monster? Well, Miklas and Vern had driven it away from us, and paid dearly for it. Managed to get a look at what attacked you? Everything happened so fast. I didn't get a good look, no. Only saw it from behind. I know it was large and... Slimy. Gotta look around. Man you patched up. Is he here? Franz? I don't see him. Think the monster might have dragged him off? Could have. Hmm. Beast probably crawled in or out through here. It's deep. Lower level of the sewers has been closed off for years. But Vern, the commander, had a skeleton key. See if I can't find it. Geralt! Are you all right? I'm fine. I can't get down this way. I'll look for something else. Be careful. had a key to the grate. Look, it's bronze. What's left of him, you mean? What kind of beast would do that? Hmm, interesting. What? Franz had a leg wound, right? Mm-hmm, just above the knee. Managed to apply anything to it? Yes, some spirit, but that was it. Why do you ask? Look, half of Franz's leg is gone. Monster must have chewed it off. Other bodies were untouched, except for the wounds they sustained in battle. Hmm. Are you suggesting... the beast likes alcohol? Mm-hmm. Mixed with blood.
Does that mean anything? Well, means our monster doesn't attack them. Seems they get along with whatever's prowling the sewers. Some kind of symbiosis. Doubt we'll learn anything else here. We need to find the lair. Right behind you. along with a bunch of dirt, rubble, and drowner droppings. I need a clean sample. From the lair, that'd be best. Body's basically intact, just half covered in slime. Hope the wretch didn't suffer. Fortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse, found a hideous death instead. Loads of slime here. Enough for your sample? It'd be more than enough if it wasn't contaminated. Soldier. Came down to hunt the beast alone, maybe. Fool. Drowners everywhere. Strange. It seems the monster tolerated them. As long as they don't get too close, I guess. Lair's gotta be nearby. Decaying corpses, slime everywhere, and that stench. This has to be the lair. Fresh and moist. Beast was just here. I'll collect my sample. All the tunnels and corridors converge here. What now? Need to lure the beast. How? 
We don't even know what kind of monster it is. But we do know it likes a blend of blood and liquor. Just so happens I've got some alcohol on me. Well, I hope you don't plan to cut yourself or... Relax. Plenty of bodies. I'll use one of them. Sample you collected enough? Hope so. But I'd still like to get some pure venom. Once you've killed the monster. To distill an antidote? No use for it once the beast's dead. Not true. I have a few poison patients on hand. Besides, I can study the venom, test it, maybe discover some interesting properties. I'll get to work. Hmm. I doubt I'd be much help in the fight, but you might need me afterwards. I'll look for a hiding place. You'd be better off waiting for me up top, or back home. But... No buts. Wait in the passage for now if you have to, though I'd rather you didn't. But when the monster shows, you run for the surface. Ugh, fine. Shani, look at me. Promise you'll stay out of it. I promise. Good. Now go hide. Be careful, Geralt.
Halaba. Galabek Khan. Gadarash Isle Wood. come to and he can speak human turns out started thinking I'm not conversing common the whole way except maybe with me reflection in the piss bucket where where am I on the albatross or the fuck bath oil it's that strange tongue has it on route to a fear don't remember signing on as a sailor <laughs> oh you didn't mate they dragged you aboard seems you killed that prince Thing. Just some sewers, giant toad, and some boots. If that toad was their prince, guess I'm lucky to be alive. Depends how you look at it. I happen to know a bit of a theory. I heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by their king to find their prince, lift his curse. I waited their honor, and that of their families five generations back, that they'd bring him home safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So, must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. Tried to break out yet? Used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be Maya Fury's, Rusty. Maya Fury's non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. I'll teach you something that time. Elkal! Orial! What's that mean? Told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. Can I talk to you, Captain? Alakal Sorkan! Galavat Kar U Albata again! Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for that. Gileam Balar! Karvarefaner! You'll be dead already. Revhaga ne Aram e Kar is not ours to reap, Anna. Dorgate ye Alami! We swore on our honor. How do I say? Take me to your captain. Falf Alech Ul Igulaf. What? Elkal. Vyoth. Vyoth. Alech Ul Igulaf. Elkal. Inkal Avr Ikel Ugarev Ulvita. What just happened? What did he say? Said to sit quiet. I thought you'll hang in two weeks. Great. Give it a rest. No point talking to that lot. All you get's angry gurgles. And they puff up, you notice? Like them fish. What's it they're called? There anyone here who speaks common? Ah, there's this mercenary with him. Looks Adernian to me. He's the one recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh, and the mage, what leads them, knows a bit. Heard him talking. But I doubt either will talk to you. Uh, that was you. Catch some short time. Not go on flapping my tongue. Got a long voyage ahead. Sleep's not what I need. Someone I can actually communicate with. That's what I want. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? I remember. We met in White Orchard. You're... Gone to Rodin. Known also as Master Mirror. I helped you find your Yennefer. We meet again. And it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. That is, if this slot doesn't kill you first. How'd you get in here? Long story, but it bore you. I'd prefer to focus on something more useful, like getting you off this ship. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. 
What on earth could you... Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you, Geralt. But before I do, I must know your eternal favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, meet the willows near the village of Yantra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. What's that? A mark to show we're associates. Who are you gabbing with? With... no one. Oh, never like Mont. Not one bit. I heave like devils. Make me stomach churn. Oh, it'd be prime to sleep through the whole thing. <laughs> Didn't bargain for no storm. I fear that means a tidy jump in my feet. To a fear get us safe. The king's reward will be generous. What about the prisoner? Before the king we must bring him. On doing so, my honor relies. Can we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like we're doing with the other? The other dropped. We could do nothing. We deliver live this one. Apart from all else. The hell the king is sure to condemn him to. I wish to see. What kind of hell? Starring, playing, and watering. This is for regicide and pains.
What's the problem? Oh, nothing. On your way now, good man. Shut it, Gotthard. He could help. Little Red's band needs to attack the village. Want revenge on Bertram. We haven't much, but we're willing to pay if you defend us. Who's Little Red? Word is she fornicates with wolves and can tear a man apart with her bare mitts. A she-beast in human husk. Though some call her a great beauty. She leads a pack of deserters, two dregs, from different armies. 
The kind what knows killing and plundering well. Why does this band want revenge on you of all people? Because... Because I ratted on them to the witch hunters. Witch hunters care about bandits? Since when? Little Red's band. They was terrorizing our village. We had none to defend us. Finally, Bertram went by the hunters, asked them. So the hunters went after him. We had a spell of peace, but now Little Red's learnt of it all. Wants to kill Bertram. He's done for if you don't help. Fine. I'll handle the bandits. Go to your homes, bar the doors. Beware of them, Witcher. They're the dangerous type, truly. I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay Debts of gratitude. Humans, elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess, you're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell you now. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. How do you know we'd met, and that I'm not exactly thrilled with him now? Please, Geralt. I knew the Ophiri had captured you. Was I not to know how this had come to pass? Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant, but make no mistake, I've many interesting wares on offer. Wares like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I 
I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, I offer a great, a true adventure. An experience like no other. The fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. It was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. All geared appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail, his shirt mothy. It seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me. Sends me off when I dare ask for payment. Even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. Huh. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Allgeard owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick, but I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Mm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm -hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well... Then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we share. Right. Specifics now. Thought Olgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet, we won't know what they are until we see him. Fine. I'll go see Olgeard with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. Did the villagers hire you? They did, to defend them from monsters, and humans who can be monsters. And you believe me to be such? Are you? Find out for yourself if you dare, or give me Bertram, and no one else will get hurt. Don't care much what you say. 
Take your men and get lost, or there'll be blood. Oh, there'll be blood either way. You just ensured there'll be more of it. Wonderful hiding he gave them. You failed to mention she was a werewolf. Well, I mean, we wasn't altogether sure ourselves. But that's a good thing. It's what witches are for, isn't it? Killing monsters. Thanks for your help. This here is well earned. Look who's here! The Witcher with the fists of steel! What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You got some kind of a fairy pox? Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? Alright. You know how it is. Feast drags home with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's all geared? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ain't with you! Drank with you! Fought beside you! Did you kill me now? I'm one of you! You might have been, but not no more you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Tell you what's gonna happen now. I'll ask again, polite-like, and you'll answer just as politely. And if I don't? Then I'll get angry, stop talking, and slaughter you all like swine. So what'll it be? 
Am I gonna hear why you want to take his head, or not? Aren't you a thorny prick up the arse? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer, have he? Now piss off! We've work to do. No, you don't. Let him go. Oh, this is bloody rich. Can't plow him, believe me ears! You switch your brains with your cock or something, get your mutant with your ass out of here! Or... Or I'll kill you! Go ahead. Try. Whoa, whoa, what the bloody hell is this? Geralt, have you decided to play Defender of the Downtrodden? More like gutter of sons of bitches. Long as I'm here, you'll got no one. That a challenge? Why not? I've not fought a witcher before. Defeat me and I shall let him go. Stand aside! Would you wait, sir, for the dribble to subside? Makes no difference to me. Stunt. Fight. Struck, Witcher. You win. But perhaps you'd care to tell me why you meddled in a matter not yours. Wanted to prevent for the bloodshed. Well, well. The Witcher with the heart of gold. Unsavory as it seems, there is a silver line. At least you now know I don't easily lose my head. Release him! 
not getting off cheap, mate. Really necessary, that whole show? Ah, show? Come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If it's left uncharred, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Don't you all did. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must grant you three requests by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Rivia. That true? You know the Toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. All geared once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the crown prince of Ophir. All geared grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life in a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, oh dear. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Come. Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. What he said about the prince. That true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Ephiri Dofa is something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah, I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollowed the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. This thing between you and Master Mirror, your quarrel, really rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him till you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never complete them. Not if you go mad trying. But try your best, and your debt shall be absolved. While I shall live in peace until Master Mirror finds another aide de camp. Could have told me the truth about the toad, having a bit of fun at my expense. I simply wanted the beast dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I must admit, when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? He was a human being. That bloody Ethereum much was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. 
We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bossoni. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses? You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch! Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mounts always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him. And show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine, seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then, we shall speak of the third. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. The brother shouldn't be too hard, but the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. You waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgierd's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet, nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. Borsodi's house. No idea how I'm supposed to bring him that. Ooh. The only Borsodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenford. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Olgierd's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Uh, never agreed to necromancy. Necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Besides, I need the blood of the summoned. Blood? True. Of the summoned? Not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt, 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 aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von every blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt. I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The Von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. Can't wait. Say I need help. Where'll I find you? I shall find you. Good luck, Geralt. <laughs> <laughs> 